Well, a big hello to you all, and I've got a single decker bus again, and it's an old style right bodied bus. You can see these right bodied buses by their twin lights, it's like an old style bus. And obviously, you can see with the right badge, it did, this is basically it's like a W, as you can see, right, and that means basically it's like a right bus, but it's an old fashioned style bus. Uh, these go back a long way, actually, up to the 90s. Yeah, you don't often see uh, right in words on the bus, usually, it's uh, I'll show you, it's like, it's like a W. So there you see, right in words and right, that's usually the style that you see on these buses. Now uh, this bus design does go back to the 1990s, it's about 1995, but this one is actually a 2011 hybrid, one of the last of the old style right body buses. Obviously I've got to be careful because it says danger 600 volts, so uh, these buses are like, you know, it's like an electric hybrid. It's like a kind of a battery with a diesel combination. And these are one of the first uh, hybrids in London as well, even though this one's a 2011 model, there are some at our depot that are 2005, so that's quite early for a hybrid, one of the first hybrids actually out, but these ones are going to be replaced by new electric buses soon. That's right, a lot of these buses are going to be replaced by um, brand spanking new electric buses. Um, so we've actually got some new electric buses at the moment. I think they're built, built by BYD, which is uh, from Hong Kong. Um, and they actually are very nice, but I've got to uh, be trained on every single bus that I can't drive. Because, uh, because every bus operates differently. Years ago, you could just drive any bus, but now you've got to be... Um, it's, about, it's, a, it's a bit like being route learned on every route. You've got to be route... So you've got to be bus trained on every type of bus, because these electric buses are different to start than a normal bus, if you know what I mean. Um, and you probably might be able to hear a bit of a whining noise as well. Can you hear a slight whining electrical kind of current noise? It's kind of a, I don't know what it is. It's not coming from the back of the bus. No, it isn't. I mean, these are obviously, um, usually on the buses that I drove in Yorkshire, the same right bodied buses, the non hybrid, you see. Um, and or they'd, they'd always have a back window, but with this, uh, this must be something to do with it being a hybrid, you know, I can't actually see the back window, there's something here, you know. But obviously the seating layout's basically the same as the buses that I drove up north, except obviously um, we didn't have a centre door on the bus. Um, uh, these buses are alright, I don't think I'll miss them because they, they don't really drive really great, it's a bit strange um, to drive these, they're not very smooth at all. Just made a couple of notes here, basically. Um, yeah, so obviously these new buses will be re replaced by electric buses in the next couple of weeks, really. Um, but I've noticed even with the new electric buses and these buses as well, sometimes this is too close. It's too low, I mean. I'm quite a tall guy, as you know, I'm six foot four. And if you're, I would say, six foot, you're going to touch, you're going to hit your head as you come out. You know what I mean? These are a bit low, but then again... If you're, sh if you're a lot shorter, you can't reach them, if you know what I mean, so... But on this side, they're a bit higher, you see, they're a bit higher on this side, but on this side, they're lower. So why aren't they the same height as that? I don't know. Anyway, uh, moving on. Another thing that I'd like to say also is when you release the handbrake, you have to put your, your foot down on the brake pedal, that's right. So in a lot of these hybrid buses, I've noticed, when you release the handbrake, obviously when you release the handbrake in the, inside the cab, when I'm releasing the handbrake inside the cab, then the bus should just go. You know, as soon as you release the handbrake, the bus should just go. And that's what it was like. Years ago, buses were easy. You just let go of the handbrake and you drive. Buses were more hydraulic in every way. Um, now it's like there's too many electronics so much health and safety stuff that it's just, it's like everyone's getting scared. People don't want to have accidents and don't want to safeguard all these things from happening. You know, people don't want bus drivers to have accidents. I mean, obviously there are still bus drivers having accidents. <laughs> it's, it's human error, you know what I mean? But it's as if electronics are taken over to replace human error. In other words, if electronics replace humans, then uh, there's no human error. So you have to make a bus autonomous to the point where the driver doesn't have to drive it. So that way what the driver won't be at fault anymore, which is kind of good because, you know, those drivers that obviously have accidents, you can't have too many accidents and still keep your job. So um, in some way it is good. But a few things I'd like to say is that obviously with all these health and safety 
you know these safeguards in place it's just it takes away the the joy of driving a bus in like the old hydraulic style the way i used to drive buses the old buses even cars were the old hydraulics the way you put your foot down you accelerate exact second or millisecond that you put your foot down when you brake as well it does exactly what you want it to actually do but this is just not as good i mean yeah the cab is nice a nice spacious cab you know um I don't know, um, it is a very old style design of bus. Actually, very old style. Just everything is just... I just know it's like the old buses that I used to drive in Yorkshire. And these buses, the longer versions that had the old 10 litre Volvo engines, I remember. It's the same body, exact same body, just this is a shorter version. And we call these, the, the, the shorter version that we drove, the normal diesel buses in Yorkshire were called Cadets. And I think, I'm not sure what the long versions were. All these different names for each bus you know but these hybrids they are smooth in a way but they just there's something about them i just don't like you know um obviously hydraulic i think is better than electronic but hydraulics have gone it's, it's all electric now you know it's, it's the way it's going um and you have a delayed reaction when you put your foot on the accelerator there's a delayed reaction it doesn't go when you want it to go it, it's like yeah and then it goes it, it's not and that's not good because it doesn't do exactly what you want it to do, you know. Uh, the same with braking. Um, when you press the brake pedal right, the bus stops before you want it to. So I'll show you here. I don't know if you can see. But basically, the bus stop is literally there. It's kind of a bus stand, as you can see. There's basically a bus stand there, yeah? Now, I want to stop there. But when I brake on this particular bus, this hybrid right-bodied bus, I stop like here. It's kind of weird. You, you put your foot down on the brake pedal, and then it's not progressive braking. It seems to be like you put your foot the same pressure on the pedal, but then it doesn't stop exactly like the other buses do. It seems to stop sooner. It's kind of weird. It's as if there's the biting point of the brake pedal keeps changing. Not only that, um, basically, um, because because it's not progressive braking, which means it should nicely stop when you want it to stop. It's just weird. It's very alien and. It, and when you've when I've actually stopped, like I put here, the brake pedal, you can keep your foot on the brake pedal. Say instead of having to put the handbrake on, you know, you're not say you say a traffic light's about to go green, so you don't need to stop and put the handbrake on, you just stop the bus and you're about to wait to, to kind of go again. So you keep your foot on the brake for a few seconds. But it's like all the other buses have driven, they're just spot on. You put your foot on the brake and the bus stops, it won't move. But on this, on these hybrid buses, they seem to kind of go like this very slowly it's quite scary it's like if you don't notice it and you're not watching what you're doing you could actually hit the car in front even though my my my, my the exact pressure of my foot on the brake pedal is the same the bus can just do that that's quite weird seriously i'm not going to miss these hybrid buses at all honestly so i'm looking forward to these electric buses um but I thought I'd cover these buses uh, in general, these old right-bodied single-decker buses. Yeah, just to let you know, this whining noise, I think it's coming from this thing here. I don't know if it's a screen. It says, move, move, Ken. <laughs> Look at that. Is that, what kind of language is that? Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it, but it says, move, Ken. I don't know, I haven't really seen these. I don't know what's it for. Is it like a map or something? Sometimes I've seen it on the buses before. It's lit, it's lit up. I don't know what it is. Some weird stuff on buses, honestly. Anyway, these buses have got large opening windows anyway. Look at the size of them. For a small bus, that's quite a big, heavy uh, window to open. Yeah, solid is that. But yeah. Oh. There you go. Right, I better go now. This is quite a long video. Um, I usually try and condense them, but uh, usually I can do a video right. And then I do another video. So this isn't the first video I've done on this bus. I just did another video on it and I realised oh, I could have covered this or covered that and not mentioned it. So this is kind of the second video I've done on this bus. But I'm not going to show you the first one because I missed some things out and that's the whole point. Anyway, this one, this video is quite long. Um, but I thought I'd mention all the different things from accelerating is not really smooth. The braking is not smooth. Even when you've stopped, the braking, it, 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 just, it, keeps, it can move by itself. Um, you know, hydraulics are better than electronics. Um, obviously, there's that whining noise, which is a bit annoying, you know. I don't know what that heck, what it is. All these small little things that can annoy you in a bus. Um, 
but that's the way it's going, health and safety. Nothing that we can do about it. Look at that, no smoking, it says. <laughs> Nobody smokes on the bus. Nobody really does smoke. It's a bit out of date, that. Everyone seems to be disciplined now. Nobody's smoking. Uh, people don't drink on the bus, which is good. People still eat smelly food, hot smelly food. Don't bring your hot smelly food with you. Chicken and chips, wherever, and leave them lying on the floor. I don't like that. Don't bring that. No way. Ah, oh, well. Anyway, as always, please like and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, Double Decker Anton. And I might see you on the bus soon. Ta da for now. Bye bye. Oh, last but not least, um, if you want to put something in the comment section about buses I can cover in the future, remember I can't exactly um, show you everything on a bus, which is why I can't show you the whole bus in full, because I can't show all the details of the bus company's name and things like that. But if you do, know, if you do want to know anything about buses, uh, just uh, let me know in the comments and I'll try and cover them if I can. Um, but I can't show absolutely everything. Can't show fully inside the cab, you know, can't film inside the cab as you know I know a lot of you keep putting comments about that I cannot film inside the cab whatsoever um, if you do see a bus driver filming inside the cab or any videos on YouTube it's because that driver isn't a driver anymore but he still can put his videos up <laughs> so just so you know you cannot film inside the cab you can't put anything inside the cab to film I'd love to film the route while I'm driving I can well, unless somebody wants to film me, that's possible in the future. At the moment, I'll just show you the basics with buses, and I hope you all, you all enjoy that. Anyway, see you later. This is quite a long video. Bye-bye for now, and have a lovely evening. Bye-bye.